Renanin, Mogadin, Gasolidia, and Nenwo, our warm greetings from the islands of the Federal States of Micronesia. It is with deep honor that I stand before ocean leaders who are taking actions toward protecting 30% of our ocean by the year 2030. Thank you to all my esteemed fellow speakers for your bold commitment to ocean action. A sincere thank, thank you to the Wade Institute for hosting and organizing this event. I am grateful for your partnership and support. In the Federated States of Micronesia, we take pride in the fact that we are an ocean country. Across generations, the ocean has served as our unifying force. It has been a source of sustenance, a driver of economic prosperity, and a cornerstone of our cultural identity. Our communities have long been at the forefront of ocean stewardship. Our nation's connection to our environment is so strong that the people of Micronesia endorsed a constitutional amendment protecting every citizen's right to, healthy, to a healthy environment. I am proud to lead a nation that recognizes the right of the people to a healthy environment and is taking steps, necessary steps, to respect, protect, and promote this right. I am immensely proud to protect 30% of our ocean. This commitment is a testament to our resolve to preserve our natural and cultural heritage, both of which are intrinsically linked to the health of the ocean. Our islands may be small, but our ocean is vast, and its health is central to our economic, economic growth, thriving communities, and a promise of brighter future. We are already working towards these goals through initiatives such as Blue Prosperity Micronesia and the Micronesia Challenge. I am proud of our nation's partnership with the Blue Prosperity Coalition to implement Blue Prosperity Micronesia, which is a government-led initiative to support sustainable growth of marine resources, strengthen fisheries management, and sustainably develop marine industries. Last year, Blue Prosperity Micronesia and National Geographic Pristine Seas embarked on a nationwide scientific expedition to our remote outer islands to study the impacts of climate change on our marine resources. The invaluable insights collected from this expedition will help our nation at all levels. From community members to policymakers, the Federated States of Micronesia will be better equipped to make informed decisions about the future of our ocean. I would like to acknowledge our esteemed partners at the Wade Institute, National Geographic Pristine Seas, and the Micronesian Conservation Trust, all of whom are present this evening for this unwavering support in making this nationwide expedition possible. I extend my deepest gratitude to you all. Together, we are shaping a brighter future for the Federated States of Micronesia and the rest of the Pacific, a future defined by resilience, sustainability, and reverence for our ocean heritage. Kiniso, Kamakar, Kalang, and Kulo. That's the words from our islands for thank you from the Federated States of Micronesia. Thank <laughs> you.